Philippines recently launched its newest additions to the ZenBook series, the ZenBook 13 and the ZenBook 14. So not only are these laptops ultra portable, they are the world's thinnest 13 and 14 inch laptops to hold a full set of IO ports or connectivity ports. Hey guys, it's Vika and you're with The Modern Creatures. Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a closer look at the smaller of the two, the Asus ZenBook 13. But before that, we just wanted to let you guys know that we just hit 1,000 subscribers. Ooh. A big thank you to all of you who've been supporting us all the way. So now we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know when we upload new videos. Now that that's out of the way, let's get back to the video. There's no denying the ultra-light claims of the ZenBook. This device is incredibly thin at 13.9mm, which contributes to how almost weightless it feels. Clocking in at a little over 1kg, the device does its best to maximize its features with its screen, keyboard, and ports to provide a very capable but portable device. Starting with the display, the ZenBook 13 houses a 13.3-inch Full HD IPS screen featuring the company's Nano Edge display technology. Bezels on the top, left, and right are just a mere 2.9mm thick, with only the bottom bezel being the thickest. This gives the device an impressive 90% screen-to-body ratio. And on the top bezel lies a 3D IR HD camera with support for Windows Hello for secure logins through facial recognition. Still focusing on maximizing space, Asus provided the ZenBook with an edge-to-edge -edge keyboard making typing a lot easier. Pairing this with the ergo lift hinge, the laptop is given a little boost in height on the rear end to reach its optimal typing angle. This lets us work for longer periods of time without straining our wrists. Additionally, the elevated rear enhanced overall audio quality and improved cooling as well. It also houses a well-sized touchpad for navigation, which comes with Asus's NumberPad 2.0. A simple press on the touch-sensitive button on the top right side will activate the LED-illuminated numeric keypad. The numbers are clear and legible, and brightness can even be adjusted. It's also nice to know that even if the number pad was active, we didn't have to worry about messing up cursor control because it was intelligent enough to distinguish between the two. Overall, the combination of the Nano Edge display, edge to edge keyboard, and ergo lift hinge delivers on its promise for a comfortable working experience. Despite being such a small device, the almost borderless screen provided enough real estate that we could easily use without any eye strain. The keyboard was a joy to use as the placement and spacing of the keys were very natural despite having such a compact design. As mentioned earlier, the ZenBook 13 is the world's thinnest laptop to house a full set of I.O. ports. On the left, you'll find a full-size HDMI port and two Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C ports, while on the right are the micro SD card reader and one Type-A port. What it doesn't have, however, is a 3.5mm jack for headphones. But the laptop does come shipped with a USB-C to audio jack dongle to solve this problem. The ZenBook 13 wraps all of these up in a premium all-metal body that boasts military-grade durability. Asus says every unit goes through a number of stress-inducing tests which include a 100mm freefall drop while powered on. It's also proved itself to work under extreme temperatures, hot and cold, and withstand cabin pressure up to 15,000 feet. Now, of course, we didn't have the resources, or the guts, to test the viability of these claims, but it's good to know that the device is safe even in the hands of the clumsiest person, like myself. Inside, you'll find that the ZenBook 13 is powered by an Intel Core i5 processor. It's supported by 8GB of RAM, 512GB of SSD storage, and an Intel UHD graphics card. Booting up the laptop as well as loading different programs were relatively fast and lag-free thanks to the SSD storage. We used the ZenBook in a variety of real-world situations including typing, video editing, watching, and even gaming. And we're glad to report that the device was able to handle these tasks without any major hiccups. Even with more than 15 YouTube tabs open on Google Chrome, with Adobe Premiere Pro, and the Spotify app all running side by side, the device didn't experience any lags in switching from program to program. The laptop could also handle scrubbing and cutting through 1080p footage with ease. It only started having a hard time when we started piling on a bunch of effects on a clip, so the device is best used for simple edits that aren't really graphics heavy or effects heavy. 
In terms of gaming performance, the ZenBook was able to run graphics-heavy games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, but with a fair amount of compromise, especially for graphics. This of course is understandable as this isn't a gaming laptop, but it's good to know that you can still use it for gaming, although you'll have to sacrifice a bit of quality. For audio, the ZenBook 13 houses an Asus Sonic Master speaker system with support for surround sound and smart amplifier. They are also certified by Harman Kardon and were able to produce clear and crisp sounds whether we were editing, gaming, or just listening to music. It was also pretty loud considering how small this laptop is. In running these tests, we also observed that the device didn't heat up to an uncomfortable level and fan noise was barely noticeable. Most of the heat was concentrated on the top part of the chassis where the fans are situated. But we didn't really feel it because the heat didn't spread to the keyboard or areas you would normally touch. The efficient cooling is also thanks to the ErgoLift hinge which allows for optimized heat dissipation. Asus loads the ZenBook series with the newest version of My Asus, which is basically the device's control center. It provides a series of tools and apps that can help keep the laptop in tip-top shape and also provide extra settings like for fan noise and even screen color. My Asus also allows you to connect to your Android or iOS phone for mirroring or for receiving notifications. Loaded with a 67 watt hour battery, you can expect to get a lot of use out of the ZenBook 13 before it actually runs out of juice. Asus boasts up to 22 hours of battery life, but we were able to get a total of 7 hours before we were hit with that 5% low battery warning. This included some light gaming, word processing, web surfing, and a little video editing. We do believe that 22 hour battery life is feasible if you are a lighter user, aren't using power-intensive apps, and are keeping the device on standby. And when you do run out of battery, Asus says that the included 65-watt power adapter supports fast charging that can achieve 60% battery life in just 49 minutes. Testing this out, we found that the ZenBook stayed true to its claim. It was able to charge from 0 to 66% in just 49 minutes. This is thanks to the Type-C plug that the power adapter uses. One small payoff to the Type-C charger though is that you'd have to sacrifice one of the Thunderbolt ports for it and end up with only one for connectivity. In our reviews, the Modern Creatures aims to find special features in a device that make it worth having, something that gives it a slight edge from among its peers. For the Asus ZenBook 13, it would have to be the Nano Edge display and the full set of I.O. ports. The Nano Edge screen is a given. The tiny bezels give us a beautiful screen that doesn't feel at all cramped, and the matte coating means that it isn't hard to use even when there's bright light present. The full set of I.O. ports, on the other hand, gave us one very important thing, convenience. Having a full set of ports means we didn't have to scramble for a certain cable or an extra adapter because the ZenBook could accommodate all the cables we had on hand. And now it's time for our Creature Corner, where we answer your questions about the devices that we're reviewing. In our Asus ZenBook 13 unboxing video, which you can watch right here, we got a question from Anil Sharma asking if the screen hinges for the ErgoLift are of good quality, as well as the Harman Kardon sound system and its overall performance. Well, during our entire time opening and closing the lid, the hinges provided a sturdy support and can even withstand light flexes or bends. It does feel like it can do what it does for a long time, so we're not really worried about it at all. As mentioned earlier, the Harman Kardon certified speakers can go loud without sacrificing sound quality, and it can fill up a small room easily. Performance during our review period has been reliable, and we're definitely satisfied as its users. So, there we go! We hope we answered your questions. The Asus ZenBook 13 prides itself on its lightweight build, portability, and power. And after spending some time with it, we can definitely see why. With features like the ErgoLift hinge, edge-to-edge -edge keyboard, a full set of I.O. ports, and number pad 2.0, working long hours isn't stressful on your wrists or fingers, and the Nano Edge display helps in reducing eye strain. While not the best in gaming or graphics, it proved it can run heavy programs as long as it's running on more modest settings. Overall, it's a powerful enough device that will blaze through everyday tasks with no problem. In addition to that, the ZenBook 13 is able to push through daily workloads with ease and provides more than an adequate amount of battery before needing to charge again. 
The Asus ZenBook 13 is currently priced at 54,995 pesos and is available to order at the official Asus eStore. You can also head on over to the official Asus Facebook page to know more about the ZenBook series as well as the brand's other products. And that's about it for our Asus ZenBook 13 review. If you guys have questions, just leave them in the comment section below and of course visit our website and other social media channels for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, I'm Vika and you're with The Modern Creatures. Thanks for watching.